So we're going to show you the worst part of travelling on this vlog and it is the travelling itself. I've got a confession. Oh my god. I've had a, an eventful bus journey in the end. Tom's feeling really ropey. We've arrived at our hotels on this mad street somewhere. Watch out, Lauren. Oh, well, we're going to book a grab then, and he was like, no, oh, grab some mafia. Yeah, he goes, grab some mafia. We have had an amazing month in Thailand. It's such a beautiful country, but our one month free visa has come to an end, meaning we have to move on. In this video, we will show you what the actual traveling part of going traveling looks like. It's not glamorous. <laughs> Thank you. So we're travelling from Pai to Chiang Mai where travel sickness tablets are recommended. Never a good sign. How long have we done so far? Uh, we've done about an hour and a half, so we've got another hour and a half to go. But we just stopped off at this like service station, I guess, at the moment. I'm feeling a bit, a bit queasy. Yeah, Tom's feeling really ropey. I've been like doing all sorts, haven't I? You've yeah. just been Lauren goes on a phone, I've no idea how you can do You've that. You've just been looking out the window. I'm like, are you okay? And yeah, so We've had a, an eventful bus journey in the end. We'll explain a bit later, but we're now in a grab on our way to our hotel. We're so glad to be off that bus. And we'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. Is it? Yeah. Is it actually? Looks alright to me. There's nothing else outside. No. It's the nicest feeling, isn't it, when you just arrive? It is. And when the room's alright, actually. Yeah, because sometimes you can be a bit let down. I mean, it's not like clean. Is it not? Well, uh... Nice view. So you always have to do a bed test, and we've just done one. <laughs> it's so hard, but we're only here for two nights whilst we wait for our flight to Vietnam. So the first part of the travel is done. We're just round the corner from the night market and there's some good food there. So we're gonna go there, I think, pretty much now. Another thing that we wanted to talk to, to you about oh, yeah. was we were on the bus from Pai to Chiang Mai and there was this English bloke and we thought there was something wrong with him didn't we because he couldn't walk properly and he was proper slow in his words. When he, we got off at the service station he was like proper stumbling about. Like he just couldn't find his feet yeah so he was really struggling and then we spoke to these girls behind us and they were like he's just been smashing drugs. Like I thought he had a cold because I just heard loads of sniffing and I thought, oh great, aircon, we're gonna get a cold. Mm. But he was just sniffing loads of stuff, so which is like, so illegal here. Yeah. <laughs> so it's so stupid, but he couldn't walk, he couldn't speak. Everyone was just like, what's he doing? And then when we got back on, we thought, right, surely that's a lesson learned. Carried on, so yeah. as soon as we got off, we scouted. Thing is like, at the start, before I knew he was taking it just like, by himself I thought has he been spiked and then it's like you want to help him then but then it's like I don't want to be involved with someone like that not worth the risk so it's not worth the risk we scarfed yeah we did might be selfish but I think it's justified but the thing is like you kind of think oh my gosh that's somebody's son that's in that much of a state but like he's putting himself in that state like he was doing it over and over and if we're just trying to be good Samaritans and help then that's like getting us directly involved so me and Tom were messaging, like, do we help him and try and get him to his hotel? But we just decided against it, didn't we? We did. So let us know what you do down below in the comments. Yeah, I think we did the right thing. After some delicious food at the night market, we called it a night. <laughs> Is that good? It's really good. We've had a lovely day and we're just off to sleep. So night night. <laughs> the electric in here just does not work. So amazing. Oh, we'll try and explain the situation. So you you turn on that light. So that's that. 
that. So that's that light, and that turns off these, but and then I can also have a bit of control over here. And uh, that's bathroom. There. Yeah. So now Tom's got both up. So I've got all the lights on. What happens? They all turn off. Every single one turns off. What about... Is that just me on? That's just that one on. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on. I've got a confession and it's not the best. I've got a bit of an ant problem in the room. What? Up there. Up oh, below? Wow. Yeah. I didn't want to tell you last night when I spotted it because I thought I can't be moving rooms at this time. But it's not good. Oh my gosh. <laughs> When did you spot it? Last, late last night, when you were looking for the moth, not the moth, the mosquito. And I was like, don't worry about the mosquito, because I thought she was going to spot the big ant trail. Lauren was carried on killing them on down here. And uh, obviously they're falling down, the odd one. <laughs> so that's why I'm just killing the odd one, isn't yeah. it? Not even noticing that I'm making a right muggery out myself there. So, should we see if we can swap rooms? How do you like? No, it's like really? No. First job this morning is to change the money into Vietnamese dollar. So luckily there's actually an exchange literally just next to our hotel. But I don't know if it's a good one or not. I did a quick look at the reviews of it and everyone said that it were good. Uh, but yeah, it's just the closest one. So we'll see how we get on. Rubbish start. They have no dong left. So I'm going to have to find somewhere else. But I best go tell Lauren. Well, she'll be wondering where I get up to. Mission failed. They didn't have any dong and the other one was shut and then the other one were really high rate or something. So we're just going to do it at the airport and then draw some out at an ATM when we arrive. That's right. That, are you tired? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we're going to do. But it's now time for breakfast because we need to get ready for the grab to the airport. This is the breakfast of champions. For breakfast, I have a butter croissant, mm -hmm. a muffin. Oh, yes. And a, a Red Bull, but it's, it's not every morning. It's uh. because, no, it's not. It's because I don't have anything else to drink. Okay. So, you know, before you come at me in the <laughs> comments, just remember that, okay? Why so close, my friend? So for my breakfast, we have a Cocoa Crunch cereal <laughs> and a milk. And what I've done recently is I used a little mug although most hotels come with a spoon but this one has not done but you can just pour your cereal in the mug it's so clever get your straw careful oh no that's almost cross contamination and just oh. like that oh you've got did you check for ants cereal in my yeah in my mug that's fantastic, and then Tom. You can always finish off the milk. Oh, cheeky. He shaved his face. Ugh. Thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sad to be leaving Thailand. It's been good, hasn't it? It has been really good. Mm. But all good things must come to an end. <laughs> So this room is really special to us because it's the first time we've seen a large collection of ants. <laughs> and, and our biggest cro cockroach. And our biggest cockroach. Ever, which... In the whole world. Unfortunately got the... Uh, the slider. The slider to the forehead. I don't understand. Oh no, we should be on... Oh no. I don't know. Swap. We'll just stand here and we'll see it, won't we? Will we? No. No. Is that her? Yes. <laughs> Is it all? Hello. Hello. It's quite yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Chiang Mai Airport's not far away at all from like the centre of Chiang Mai. It's like 15 minute drive, something like that. So we didn't have to set off too early. We're still going to get there in plenty of time. You never want to be cutting it fine, do you? No, definitely not. And we need time for a Burger King as well, so. Which is so classic, isn't it? Just having a Burger King when we get 
get to the airport. But we had one when we flew from Kuala Lumpur Airport and it was actually really nice. Oh, gotcha. It was like nicer than the Burger Kings at home, I'd yeah. say. Oh, I've lost my door open. <laughs> Do you want to... Thank you. Thank you. Where do we go now? So it's a good job we've come early because there's a massive queue, queue for international departures. So yeah, we're hoping for a nice chilled Burger King afterwards, but we're it's not, not too looking. Sure if we're gonna get that. It's not looking like the case. So we are few security. We're it into was the, the duty biggest free. like security that we'd seen in terms of like busiest. Yeah, it was so busy, but we're through, and I think the is gonna be somewhere to eat. Hopefully. Do we have enough time? Because I'm getting hungry. Although I haven't seen anywhere, have you? No. Oh, Burger King, down there. Oh, Happy days. Do we have enough time? What time is it? I don't know. It's 10 past 12. We've got half an hour. Perfect. I think that's enough time. Airport prices. Is it? Is it expensive? Oh, it is expensive. I've just got myself a small drink. <laughs> we went king sized. We didn't realise how big it was, but we've got Nobody needs. big chips. Nobody needs that much, like, Coke. Look at they? the size of it. We're starving now, so we're going to tuck in. We were so worried that this wasn't going to be possible. We are on the plane now. I'm tired now. I'm really sleepy. We've had a lot of food and a lot of coke, as in a drink. We've had like a two litre big tub of coke. It was silly, but yeah, the flight's only an hour and a half, so it's not a massive travel day, but it does take it out of you. And then I don't know where our hotel is in comparison to our hotel. Our yeah. hotel. Our hotel in comparison to the airport. But yeah, we're probably just going to sleep this flight and wake up in Vietnam. Any minute now. Any minute. We get touched down. Can we do it? Has also touched down. But if not, I've got an air tag in it so ah, I can yes. see where it is. These are always exciting, aren't they, Lauren? So oh, I'm going to end. Now the floor seems really <laughs> So we've got our luggage, they're just on floor here. But we need to get SIM cards, don't we, Lauren? That's and some cash. And some cash. As so well. there's customs here, and then we'll try from there. We've arrived, our hotel's on this mad street somewhere. Let's watch out, Lauren. Lots going on. We've got a story to tell about getting a taxi from the airport as well, if we're a bit of a mad one. But Lauren's on a mission now to get us to the hotel. It's been chaos. Oh. I don't think we'll struggle finding food anyway, Lauren. all right to me nice. yeah it's felt a long journey even it though it has. hasn't been that it's long it's been an hour and a half up in the sky but trying to get out of hanoi airport was a nightmare we've got a little story for you first things first we went to go and get a sim card and our money exchange you saw that i videoed that bit and then after this guy says oh are you wanting a taxi? And we're like, we're going to book a grab. And then he goes, oh, well, I'm a grab driver. He goes, same, same, and showed his phone. And then he says, where to? We told him where. He typed it in. He said, yeah, yeah, look, 300,000 dong. Mm. So I said, all right, then. Which 300,000 dong is about 10 pound. Yeah. Then we follow him. And the weird bit was he goes, right. You he puts go, us in the lift. You, you go in this lift and uh, we'll meet you down there. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so we just get we get in the lift. <laughs> Anyhow, we go down and no one were about other uh, than these like security people. Yeah, which looked like police because they had like a baton. They had a baton and like a big megaphone and stuff. But you <laughs> you don't know whether to I don't know where I'm whispering. But you don't know who to trust. Right. So even though they've got authoritative clothes on, you think they could be Is anyone that still. Dress? Yeah. So anyway, they they like said where are you going, how much and stuff. But there were there were a couple of them, and it were a bit like. Slightly yeah, it was. It was really threatening, scary. weren't it? It was scary. Anyway, we said, "Oh, we've we've already booked one. Like, there's this other guy," and they were like, "No, he's no good. You need to go with this guy." And yeah. we were like, "Oh well, we're gonna book a grab then." And he was like, "No, grabs the mafia." Yeah, he goes grabs the mafia. We were, we're like, like, "What?" Thinking, there what was there was loads of grabs <laughs> as well. But anyway. We ended up getting then so they were said just wait here and a car will come and pick you up. We thought, oh no, like what's what what's gonna anyway gonna happen, yeah. a taxi tipped up and I googled the taxi and it's a proper taxi and it was service. Fine. And the amount that they charged us, which was three hundred thousand, was actually like the same amount that was on the grab yeah. and the same amount that this lady said that you should pay from Hanoi Airport to the old quarter on her for blog. Plus the uh the meter on the taxi were like six hundred thousand, so it shows that I wouldn't go for a meter option from the no, airport. No, because it also said like one of the scams was speedy meters, so there's oh, just really? loads. Yeah. To, like, you've look just got to always be careful. I we've mean, ended up doing well, I think. I think we've ended up doing well. I mean, we had the money spot on, yeah. but it was stressful because it's scary because you like. You just see someone in uniform, and in the UK, it's like right, like. And you he know has a baton and stuff, and we were there like oh. Well, it's all right, we'll get a grab. And you're like, no, 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 grab Mafia, grab Mafia. And then you're like, well, oh, what do we do? You know. What I think was happening was that these were security guards, because I Googled their firm and there were security guards. Well, the firm that they had on their outfit. And I think that the guy from upstairs who had just, like, found us, I think he wasn't really a grab driver no, or he a would taxi just, driver. He, he was just, just like, a guy with a car. Look, yeah. Mm. Um, and would probably have like overcharged us and been like, oh, airport fee and whatever. And then I think when we've gone downstairs, they've known that the other people send you downstairs. So then I think that they just like pick us up and then they recommend their mate. But because they're looking authority. You, but in the end, I mean, it's, it's all a worked tenor. out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So it's all good. It's fine. But literally, as soon as we were driving into Hanoi, it's just mental. The roads are. So it, it's worse crazy. than Bangkok. It's more crazy yeah. than Bangkok. It's definitely. just mental, isn't it? It's so, so, like, just busy. Like, but everybody's everywhere. To see all of that, you're going to have to subscribe and watch next week. Yes, because that's the end are. of this one. And the next one is going to be all about Hanoi. I hope you've enjoyed it. So we can reiterate from the start that the worst part of travel is the travelling itself. Definitely. And like now we're in this little room and it's all cosy. We've got windows, lovely aircon, and you kind of feel like it's worth this it. is your little home for the next few days now. But when you're up in the air and you don't have a clue what you're doing and you like, don't know where you're going to be landing or yeah, what, what you're going to you be walking into. Don't know what it's going to be like. Like the lady in reception, she I think she owns it because she was like she a really lot of good. the staff they don't speak English. So here's my WhatsApp number. So if you need anything, just text me or call me, which just makes you feel nicer, doesn't it? And there's loads of English in the hotel as well, which is also good. But yes, uh, to wind things up. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>